Uh, just a heads up, I welcome all to use code SWAN for Control Freaks for 10% off. The link is in the description. And also, you can use code Phase Swan to support me in the item shop. Love you guys. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about ways to, I guess, improve in the game. And my channel for a long time has been revolved around, you know, trying to give what I think are the best possible tips like whenever I think about something I, I'm like okay a lot of people might want to know this so I'll post it and one of the hardest questions to answer is just the general question of how do I get better at Fortnite and th it's such a vague question people will say all the time like how how are you so good when I play X amount of hours more than you because like, I don't I don't play as much as a lot of people but and I'm saying I'm not saying I'm crazy good. I'm I'm good. I'm well above average, but um, I'm not some pro player or anything. But I actually thought about my answer to this at the gym yesterday. Randomly, I was I was at the gym. I was just running, and my mind was just going because I'm I'm always thinking about stuff, especially YouTube and streaming and stuff because basically because of anxiety but I'm always I'm always thinking about stuff so I, just, I, th I was on this topic in my head and I was like okay and I figured out kind of like the best way to explain it and it was with like a gym analogy with working out it's all about quality over quantity you can go to the gym seven times a week and see less results than someone who goes to four times a week because they're they're working out smarter they're doing everything smarter and a lot of it has to do with diet and so kind of the analogy is playing games, whatever, playing pubs, playing arena, whatever, um, will help with the results. That's just like the working out part. But the diet analogy is basically using your brain to actually improve rather than just trying to get a better muscle memory of what to do and just playing the game and thinking you're going to get really good all of a sudden. But in reality, you kind of have to pick and choose what you're working on and how the best way to go about it is. So if you need to get better at editing, you sit and create it for a little bit and you, you just edit for a while. Then once you get once you get better at editing, then you go into pubs and you apply it, whatever. And then you wanna work on building, you do a bunch of free builds. A lot of people hate on Creative Warriors, but it, it helps a lot. It, it actually does, like not necessarily free building, but 1v1s especially, you know, they, they can help you a lot, especially if you don't have if you've never done 1v1s in creative before, it, you're you're gonna be at a disadvantage because it actually helps with critical thinking and situations. And on top of all this, one of the one of the best things that you can do is I I don't really do this. I do kind of do this, but I don't to the extent of pro players. You'll see a lot of pro players even on stream they'll do it. I'm sure they do it a lot more off stream, but on stream they sometimes watch replays of themselves just watching themselves uh play in the replays and see what they did wrong it's like watching film and football basketball anything it's like when you watch that you can actually sit you can pause you can rewind you can slow it down and see what you did wrong and i do that to a certain extent when i say that i mean i i edit all my own videos and i have to cut through gameplays and stuff so i have to i Literally every time I upload a video that has a gameplay in it, I'm re-watching the gameplay. I watch it from start to finish. I don't, because I have to chop out little parts that nothing happens in or whatever. And so I am watching it, and I see every single gunfight that I ever post on YouTube because I don't have an editor. And I think that's helped me a lot, kind of pick and choose what I need to get better at. And I'm still not amazing, like I said, at the game because I don't put in as much effort uh, competitive wise or anything like that than a lot of people but I think it's helped me a lot with this just being above average but yeah those are kind of just the main points I wanted to make it's like you get you really got to see what you need to get better at you know some people have just like the natural talent of just getting insanely good at video games with uh, not doing uh, not putting in all that extra work it's kind of like just the once-in-a-lifetime athletes like I mean, they still put the work in, but like when you look at someone like LeBron, it's like there's no way he's not gonna become a star because of how good he is, even though he um, he puts in seems like he puts in more work than almost anyone else. But 
he still has like just that natural talent and everything and it's the same with uh professional gamers some some just pick it up and they're just amazing at it but to kind of get you to the next step they all they all put in that extra work anyways even if they have the just the the lucky talent of it but yeah you, you gotta you gotta pinpoint what you need to get better at work on it apply it and then also i guess you could say watching film helps a lot because it actually like it, it does let you pinpoint i've noticed through editing videos i'll watch them and be like okay why did i do that and then i'll go into creative or something then work on it just for like a i don't know not long because i don't i don't do that that much but I'll, every once in a while, I'll I'll see something. I'm like, okay, I really actually do need to get better at that. And yeah, I, I've I've kind of had to think about this question for a long time because I get this question a lot, but I never know how to answer it. And um, I I think that's like the best way I could do it. Kind of making that comparison, especially of working out. It's like it's like the diet, which is all the extra stuff I was talking about, is like 85 percent of working out and seeing results you you, you, you got to put in the work outside of the gym and not only focus on going hard in the gym and just doing whatever after it's like it's like a full it's a full-time gig to to work out and get the results that you want that's why you don't see everyone in just peak shape um a lot of it has to do with dieting a lot of people go to the gym you see a lot of people at the gym but not everyone is good at following the the diet part of everything which actually includes me a lot of the time but i don't know thought it was the thought it was the best analogy that i could give so yeah i guess i hope that helps sorry my guy Very, very quick. I think there's someone up there. I think I saw shots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gotta get that headshot. Imagine. You are biffing. You're biffing. We're going to keep this tag. Why not? Messing this is not ever the cause. No! I don't have any- Oh man. I didn't have my gun reloaded. Let's go, dude. My snipes are nasty. Oh, come on.
Look at me, dude. I'm just loaded out. This is like one of the, easily one of the best loads I could have. Probably a a what's it called? Oh, this might not make it up. A combat might be better, but all right, rip. If I don't get this kill while he's in the air, yeah, I figured. What's he doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Now I can use my slurp. Ah, oh, there he is. I'd love to go for a trick shot, but there's nothing really I can do. My snipes are actually like disgusting. Oh, where'd my AR go? Oops. I had my AR. Right, I gotta wait till he's past this. of the Victory Royale. Nice. That was a good game. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to drop your scar or drop my scar.